How's everybody doing and welcome to the fish room. Uh, today's video is something a little bit different, uh, kind of a project I've wanted to do for a while. I had it in the back of my mind for the last month or so and the more I watch videos on YouTube I see a lot of stuff on microgreens and different aquaponics. So it kind of made me start thinking about different things. So what I'm thinking here is to do a small like aquaponics on one of my tanks to try to do additional filtration, just kind of something fun in the fish room. Just taking a look at some of my tanks. Uh, basic filtration, I'm running a lot of sponge filters. Um, you can also put acrylic yarn, really anything with surface area. Can be yarn, can be gravel. It's gonna grow beneficial bacteria. It's gonna help break down ammonia into nitrite and nitrates, which is really just the filtration cycle in any tank. Uh, so I have some moss in a few of my tanks, just to kind of show you what I have already. So I have some plants, some moss, just real basic stuff. I like to do things kind of simple. I focus on the fish. Um, but one thing I was thinking for over here is some things I bought today uh, is mint. So mint is super easy to grow. I grew it outside uh, last couple summers and it's really nice. You can cut it off, put in your drinks and stuff like that. And it just really smells nice. So I think if I grow some mint here, it's gonna help make this fish room smell really nice. And it's gonna be just any type of plant. So plants are gonna feed off the nitrates and help uh, cycle the tank. Um, right here, I want to put a container on top of the tank. Uh, I'll show you what I'm doing. So basically what I'm trying to do here is this container here will sit on the 55 gallon uh, and it's under a shop light. So I could grow it by a window seal, um, but eventually it's going to grow into that light if this all works. So I want to start them there, or at least try it out. Uh, all I want to do is have a few containers. These are somewhat narrow, so I can put the mint in there, it'll stay upright. And then these containers here are kind of shallow and they need a few inches of water and I'm going to drill some holes in the top. I just repeated that a few times. So basically what I have here are a few slots for them so I can slide one stem into each one and I stacked them so I have a small tool right there. Let's go ahead and fill it with water and kind of test it out. So that was just a little uh, preparation for what the plan is. So I'm going to go ahead and just put, every, put water in all these containers. I'm going to pull my mint out, I'm going to trim it, show you what it looks like, and we'll just kind of see how this project works out. Hopefully this is part one of a really cool project. Uh, but let's go ahead and get the mint out, get it in the container, see what it looks like. So I'm just going to open up my mint. I bought this at the uh, grocery store, so you don't have to go to a garden or anything special. And if you buy it, it comes on the stem. So just like that, uh, I'll trim some of the leaves. This actually looks pretty good. Um, so it has leaves on the top, even these bottom ones don't bother me much, but I'll probably cut those and I'll give a fresh cut at the bottom. And then each one of these are going to go into a slot or into the main container. And then once they, it's called germating, uh, right here it's a stem plant. So it'll start to grow roots just like an underwater stem plant for aquariums. And if that works and they start to germate and I get roots, uh, what I plan on doing eventually is pulling all these containers out, filling this with some gravel I already have laying around. So give it about a two to three inch bed of gravel. And then I might do, they have like garden beds. They do this drain where the water can fill up. Once it hits the top, it flushes the whole thing dry. And then it starts filling up again by an air pump or by just a pump. So that's my plan. So I'll have almost like a little rainfall below here if it's constant, or I'll do one of those uh, garden drains that can kind of cover the roots and water uh, help the plants grow and then they'll actually help pull some nitrates out of the water and that's kind of my idea so this is kind of a part one I'm gonna go ahead pull these out cut them all get this set up let you see what it looks like and if this works and it grows under a simple shop light I think it's gonna be really nice for the filtration it'll look nice in here I can put a fancier uh, top container maybe an aquarium drill some holes make it more permanent uh, but this is kind of like I said this is kind of part one of the project so something I like to do uh, I like to garden a little bit and stuff like that, but I really just like the fish tank, the cycle of life, uh, just trying new things, kind of keeps things fun. Uh, so showing you guys this today, let's get it set up. Hopefully in a few weeks from now, I can show you some roots on these guys if it's doing well. Then I'm gonna redo this, take out the containers, put some gravel in there, and hopefully we can get a pump going through this and we can have like an extra filtration on the tank and a little bit of like an aquaponics. Alright guys, so here are all my trimmings and I gotta say it smells really nice in here. Uh, so this is kind of makes me excited if this works. Um, definitely nice to have some more natural plants in the fish room. I only bought two of these little containers here, they're about three bucks each. So 
So overall, all the stuff I've laying around besides the mint, only cost me six bucks to try this out. And here's kind of how I set everything up. So I cut each one individually, put them in these little pots, and then some of the taller guys I put in there. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna wait and see if these germate, and then they start to grow roots on the bottom. Once they start to grow roots, like I said, I'm gonna put gravel in here, fill it up with water, and then I'm actually gonna put some holes in the bottom or do that little drain. I'll be pumping water from the tank with all the fish producing waste, feed the fish, they go to the bathroom, uh, the filter processes it, brings the water up here, you have nitrates in the water and the plants feed off of that. So those roots will suck up the water and this will keep growing. So eventually it'd be cool to have like this whole thing, a big bed of just mint growing. I'll let it grow up right over the top so kind of the walls will form it to grow up and it won't fall over. Once it grows up, I'll cut it, replant it, or I'll just keep cutting it and letting it grow. Um, so that's kind of part one. Excited to see if this project works. Uh, definitely would be cool to do a real easy way to grow some plants out of the water um, that you can find at your grocery store. Anyone can find these plants for just a few dollars. So let me know what you guys think about trying something different like this if you'd want to do this at home. As always, I like to share everything I'm trying out in the fish room. Uh, for future videos coming out while I have you guys, uh, I do plan on moving some fry around. I have my rams in this tank getting a good size in a 10 gallon. Also have these angelfish looking really nice. So if you guys want, I'll put these on my website in the next month or so, maybe two months. Uh, I, I have no problem selling angelfish online if you guys are interested. These will be like a marble, a little bit of koi in them, some platinum in them. So pretty cool angelfish. If you guys are interested in stuff like that, uh, you can email me at biancosfish at gmail.com or you can check out my website biancosfish.com I may have said that wrong so biancosfish at gmail.com and then www.biancosfish.com but back to the fish and my plans uh, these rams here would go to my 55 gallon tank uh, these long fin bristlenose plecos that are hanging out uh, I have a couple people coming locally to sort through them, pick some pears out, things they want to grow out and try to breed. So I'll sell some of those, maybe I'll put those on the website. I've been holding off on selling my adult plecos with the cold weather, uh, just because they're more expensive fish and uh, they're really hard to replace. Not that I want anything to die in shipping, but a small pleco like these guys, if I have a tank full of them, um, it definitely stinks, but I can replace them. Something I guess if you buy it, I can't even replace it, I have to refund it. Uh, so I'm not even gonna risk that. Um, but these guys will go to the larger tank, the smaller rams go in here. And this tank here where I had my angels breeding, I put the pear back in the community tank. And then I'm gonna put some of the angel fry in here. And then where those, those guys will go in that 20 gallon. And all these baby angels that are definitely due for water change, I'm doing it right after the video. They'll go in that tank and I'll just keep moving my babies up to larger tanks. Uh, these German blue rams are going free swimming as of yesterday. so. They're feeding so far, doing well, so I'll have to make space for them also. But just moving things around the fish room, trying new projects, keeping up on the water changes, and hopefully this project will work out and we'll have some nice fresh mint in the fish room, filtering our plant, filtering our tanks, and smelling real nice. So thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the next video. Let me know what you guys think about the project if you're curious on what's going to happen, and if you guys want me to update you whenever. I have updates to do, so I hope to do a part two on this, um, add that gravel, make everything look nice. But thank you all for watching, stay tuned for more videos in the fish room. If you have not already, go below and subscribe, I'm always throwing content out there and I definitely appreciate you guys commenting, let me know what you do like, what you want to see. So go below, drop me a comment, hit the subscribe button on the way, and definitely like the video. But stay tuned for more updates, thanks for watching.